Hey everybody, it's Kim Danke, Bishop Bullith, new member, Fast Track instructor, and I am so glad that you are here with me tonight. Tonight, we are going to go over the recipe library and the grocery list, and it is a fun night. It's a way to expand from uh, simple combinations, which are still one of the absolute best things to do, simple combinations, but to have those recipes that your family likes, those special weekend meals, those special um, Christmas meals, you can you could do Shibboleth approved food even on Thanksgiving and Christmas with some of these delicious recipes that are in the um, the website. So if you are on Facebook, please take a second to say hello. Let me know that you are here and I will try to say hello back. So like I said, Facebook, the comments are going away, but I'll do my very best. If you are on Facebook and you want to jump over into the Zoom room and you are a member, all you have to do is log into your account and then go to the pink online webinars tab. And then it says, at the top webinar in progress and you just click there put in your name and email and you're over in the zoom room okay so i can make sure that i hear uh any questions that you might have okay now just to let you know the first class with shibboleth is always free and then if you like what you see in here we ask that you go ahead and get a membership a membership right now is only 69 dollars. that is for a lifetime there is no other membership fees and you will have access to um to everything that we have in our website 20 years of our founders research and data that he has done at your fingertips. This is what's so amazing about it. You didn't have to do all the work. You just pay for it. And there you go. You get it. And it's not that expensive. So make sure that you get a membership at shibolithdeals.com. If someone led you to this webinar tonight, please put in their first and last name. We like to thank our members for sending people to us and they will get 5% back for them to shop in our little online store, of which there is no requirement to ever make a purchase from us, um, but we do have a little online store. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started tonight with lap four, and who is hanging out with me tonight in the Zoom room? Um, if you will, set your chat to everyone so everyone can see what you type. You just click on the chat box, set it to everyone and then say hello, just like Claudia did. Hey, Claudia, I'm glad that you're here with me. Hey, Annette, yay, and Tammy, and Crystal, awesome. I'm so glad that y'all are with me tonight. We're gonna have a lot of fun tonight looking at recipes. Hey, Nicole, glad you're here. Awesome. This is a great place to be every night, Nicole. I promise. Come on and listen to all these fun things and just get motivated. Hey, Maria and Diane. Awesome. I see some of my regular Facebookers over here in the Zoom room now that Facebook is acting up. Um, if you are on Facebook, it's okay. You can see me. I just, it doesn't leave the comments up there very long. So if I don't answer your question, please type it in again so I can maybe have an opportunity to see it, okay? Hey, Beverly, awesome. I got a good group with me here tonight. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I always share my screen with you and introduce you to uh, the Fast Track. Now the Fast Track is just our little curriculum. It's our little education system. I consider it a very organized way for a person to come into this website that is 20 years worth of information and teach you how to use all of this information in an organized way. That's what Fast Track is. And so that you'll see there's lap one, lap two, lap three, all the way through lap seven, sort of intended to be seven days. Okay. But I don't, I don't put the date on here and all that. Hey, Rhonda, glad you're here. Yay. Um, because if somebody starts in on a Wednesday, just go to lap one and get started. Okay. And then what you do is if you need, if you're not spending time with me here tonight, this little tutorial video could be helpful for you. Okay. But otherwise, you're just going to take your mouse and if you're on a computer, you hover your little mouse over that link and that black box will pop up. But if you are not on a computer, all you do is simply uh, lightly tap that information eye and that black box will pop up, okay? The black box 
is basically the homework instructions for that particular task. But I'm going to do these out of order tonight, and you'll see why in a second. Um, well, I'm going to do this one first. Create a grocery list in the resources, foods, and recipes tab. In order, yay, Rhonda had another EFB day today. Fantastic, Rhonda. That's awesome. In order to add foods to a grocery list, the grocery list must be created first. If you don't have a grocery list created, there's nothing to add something to, okay? So you got to create a grocery list first. If you shop at multiple stores, this is a good time to create lists for each store, okay? So we're going to click here. This is taking us to this green resources, foods, and recipes tab. And you can see I already have some listed right there. And what I'm going to click on is this green add grocery list button. So I'm going to click there and you just choose the date that you want the grocery list to be for and we can name it and I am going to do Ingalls tonight. So I'm going to click Ingalls because so I did, I created Publix and Kroger a couple of the past two weeks. That's it. That's how you create a grocery list. It's that simple and you can create as many as you need. Now I check the box. That's done. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add a food item from the food library to a grocery list. So for practice, I want us to pick any food item from the food library and add it to one of your grocery lists. Adding a food item to a grocery list can be done in two places. In the food list, it's the last button to the right of the food item listing. And once you open it, there's a little green button that looks like a list. You can click there to add it. So there's two places. See, if you know that you want it, you know you want that item, there's really no reason to open it. You could just click on the green add to grocery list button. But if it's an item you've never seen before and you're checking it out, then you're in the information and you decide, yes, I do want it, then there's a button in there for you as well. So we're gonna go ahead and click here. I would like for y'all to, I'm gonna do the first three foods that I see. And I like to do this this way because when I get the three foods, I'm also gonna go over the categories they're in. I'm gonna go over the, the uh, uh, amounts that are in there and show you other things in the food listing. But I want y'all to give me some foods. I'm gonna take the first three that I see. I can do more in the end if I have time, but I always do the first three because I wanna get into recipes tonight. So y'all go ahead and type something into the chat. Who all has had their waters today? This is my last one for the day. If you are brand new and you <clears throat> haven't watched the Sunday and Monday night videos yet, please make sure that you watch those because Sunday night is the lifestyle overview. It'll make this whole thing will make a lot more sense if you've done that. And the Monday night video is all about food combining. So awesome. Okay, so I've got Benito's mac and cheese, miracle noodles and chicken. Okay, sounds good. Well, let's look up Benito's. I'm just simply coming over here to the, the search bar in the food library. And I'm going to pull up Benito's. Well, three different things pull up. I've never actually seen these right here. So out of curiosity, let's have a look. Benito's skinny dippers. Skinny dippers. What is this? I don't know why they're different. I don't know why skinny dippers are different than regular Benito's. 12 chips as a snack or eight to 10 chips as a category three. Okay. Benito bean chips. Okay, so they, they up to 12 chips as a plus one weight loss meter snack and eight to 10 chips as a category three. They really look about the same. So that was interesting. So I'm not sure what the difference is on those. I'll research that later. But um, she's um, talking about these baked Benito mac and cheese crunch. These things are really, really good right here. So this is an energy carb and it's a snack. 
And as you can see, I already have it marked with uh, five stars because I like it. And I already have a heart in it. 89 other people have said they liked it. Now it's a zero on the weight loss meter, meaning not going to help you, not going to hurt you. And 10 to 12 cheese puffs is a category three. Now, if you have a category three, let's say that you're eating these next to a sandwich. What would your sandwich need to be? Uh, so you can buy these in our store, Rhonda, at this little green button. I've seen Benito's at other... And like I've seen the Benito chips at Kroger and other grocery stores. I don't know that I've seen these like cheese puffs things there though. But let's scroll down and let's see where other people have said it. Okay, people have said they found it at Ingalls Publix, Kroger, Big Lots, Walmart, and Food Lion in Varnell. <laughs> it was pretty specific there. Yes, Betsy and Annette. Yes, you would need to have. Um, she could. Annette suggested a tur turkey and a category two approved bread. That's how you could have that next to a little sandwich. And Betsy said a category one meat and a category two bread. Okay, Annette said that she got some today at Food Lion. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, they are, they are available in our store as well as other places too and on Amazon right there. These are really good. Now let's say I wanna add this to my grocery list. I just click right there. I can click on the list I want to add it to, and then I click add. Okay, so now let's have a look at Miracle Noodles. Now, let's just say that I already know I want Miracle Noodles. All I've got to do is click right there and add it to my grocery list. It's that simple, okay? But just for the fun of it, let's click on Miracle Noodles. Now there's also Miracle Rice. These are a category two fibrous carb and they're freebies. Okay, so if you had a moment of weakness, you could use this as a freebies, but we don't just add freebies to meals. We don't just say, ooh, I can eat as much as I want to because these are freebies and add it to a meal. If you're doing this with a meal, you're calling it a category two fibrous carb, okay? It is a negative three on the weight loss meter as well. And then if there's any linked recipes, they're gonna be listed there. And then there is a list of where to buy. It says some people have found them at Sprouts, Walmart, Food City, and Nutrition World. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add right now all Shibboleth stores because we sell them too. And see how quickly that was? If there is already this store in the add new, it's that quick but you can also add your own stores too over in the resources tab. Okay, so next up, we're gonna look up chicken. You're right, Rhonda, they are amazing. Oh, I've had about, in my first 20 days, Rhonda, I had about 20 Mighty Muffins. So yeah, they are delicious. I love them. Okay, so chicken. And we're I'm, I'm sure that Tammy's talking about just chicken breast, but look at all the things that have the word chicken in the name. And I could click there and we could just continue to look things up. But if I wanted to make this list more manageable and eliminate all the things that really weren't the best for weight loss, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna do negative, I'm gonna get negative two, negative three and hit set. And that way it'll give me a shorter list because look, that list was 474 results. So it's gonna give me a new list and I'm just doing that for the fun of it to show you all how to really use it. Okay, so now we have 208 results. Look, that's a lot of options that are negative two, negative three. I'm gonna pull it down to negative three, negative three and see what it goes to. So we had 474 results. Then we had 208 results. And now we've got 88 results. 
to tell you the truth, that's where I would start to pick some chicken things from. I want the best of the best. Why not? Why not pick out what's the best for weight loss? And then, you know, if you need to expand for certain purposes in the future, or, you know, once you get to maintenance, you find something else that you like that's that's a higher number, then you can do it then. But in the beginning, I would start off with the best of the best. And there you go. Okay, so chicken breast. Let's just say I wanna add that to my list. I can go ahead and add that to my list from right there. Or I could click there, see what it says about it. It's category one lean protein. It's You can have two to eight ounces. And then you come down here. I just wanna show you all the recipes. Look at all the recipes that include chicken. There's over 13 pages of recipes that include chicken. And where to buy? Everywhere. Okay, so that is some th three things we're gonna add to the food list. Now, Diane has already given us a recipe and we will look that up as well. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply check this box off because now you know how to add foods to the food library. Okay. So these two, we're going to do these two together. This one says, familiarize yourself with the recipe library. And the one right below it says, add a recipe to the recipe, I mean, to the grocery list. So while we are familiarizing ourselves with the recipe library, we're going to throw some recipes into the grocery list. Okay. So we're going to search the recipe library for your favorites. This is a database built by our Shibboleth family. As you are exploring, please heart each recipe that you think you might like to try. Hearting the recipe adds it to your personal favorites, which can be found in your My Journal tab or in the My Favorites tab in the recipe library of your account. Now let's go ahead and read this one real quick because this is so cool. Each recipe required ingredient can be added to a grocery list with the click of a button. Once the recipe has been opened, you'll see that green button that looks like a list and you just click that and it adds it to the recipe, I mean grocery list. Okay, so let's go ahead and click here. And it's important for you to understand the way this page is laid out because see these beautiful pictures? I mean, these pictures make me want to go in there and fix something right now, especially this one. Look at that. Looks like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Um, so see how I hover over this and it says the name. It says chicken nuggets. This is organic pumpkin raisin and flax seed muffins. This is veggie cobbler. Uh, what is this? MCT pudding. That's interesting. This is, oh, the same picture as that over there. Uh, Polly's layered salad. That must be our friend Polly from Dalton. This is cream sickle orange Julius power shake. And this is cheese quesadillas. Okay, did anybody see or hear? Do you see anything that you look think looks appealing or do you hear anything that you think looks good? Y'all let me know. Anything right there that y'all think looks good y'all might like to try out? I hope so. I hope so. Yes. Betsy says the muffins. Yep. So I'm going to make a suggestion. If you see something when you come to this page that you think I might like to try that, write it down. Take an extra little sheet of paper and write down the name of the thing that you want to try. Because if you click off of this page and you come back to this page expecting to still, to still see the muffin picture sitting here, it won't be. Because these pictures change every time you come back to this page. Um, yeah, yeah, Betsy says, or right click and open in a new tab. I just right clicked that and it didn't give me open image in new tab. Let's see if that just gives me the. That just opened the image. Right click. Open link in new tab. Okay, now. Brilliant, brilliant. That's awesome, Betsy, thank you, that's wonderful. So that is a great idea. If you just right click it and click on open in new tab, it'll save them up there as tabs for you, okay? Now I can click back there and I can get on that. 
But if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, of which I like Betsy's way better, if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, just jot it down, okay? Because you could still search for the name there in the recipe. But my point with this whole thing is to tell you that when you come back, isn't that great to know, Callie? When you come back to this page, these pictures change. So that's the point of me telling you that. But I am super psyched that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to right-click this and open these chicken nuggets in a new tab. That is so fun. Thank you, Betsy. Cool. Okay. There's also right up here in the top right, you see where that says my favorites right there? That's where you would click to see the, the recipes that you heart. That's your personal cookbook. That's your personal digital cookbook within your Shibboleth account. And if you want to add a new recipe, that's where it'll be done. But you will start a conversation with Kim Shibboleth about that recipe over on the Shibboleth Fixed It page first, because she will help you get it just right before you have to come in here and submit the recipe, okay? Um, and then right here, obviously, I'm going to click on these filters in just a second, but there's some filters that you can use. Here's the search bar. And look, there's types. You know how cookbooks are separated into sections? Well, this is your sections, appetizer, breakfast, condiments, and so forth. We even have one for vegetarian meals and one called Walmart. 99% of ingredients come from Walmart. And then if we scroll on down, these are the recently added recipes. And uh, this Mike here, he is a great chef and cook. So anything that says Mike's on it might be something that you want to try. Um, and look, I like it when people get to name their own little thing in here, which is awesome. <clears throat> and then over here, now, if you're looking at this on a phone, you're going to pretty much see it like this. And then you'd click on whatever section or type of recipe you're looking for. And it would open up all the items that come in that particular section. But on, on the computer, you also get this view over here. So where it says appetizer, and then it lists out every single item that's in appetizer. And if we continue to scroll down, it would eventually get to the next section and it says breakfast and then it lists out everything that's in breakfast so I kind of like that too because then you just scroll and scan with your eyes and open up those things that you find interesting the recently added thing is pretty active because these are all the things that people are making currently and they've gotten some great traction and so if you are a recipe lover this recently added part of this will be a great um, area for you okay so I'm going to go ahead and click on these filters right here because I want you to see what filters are available so when I click on filters it's going to have some filters at the top so currently Every recipe in the entire recipe library um, is there, but you can narrow it down. You can narrow it down by cooking, by clicking on cooking for one to two people. You can narrow it down by clicking on cooking for family or crock pot or few ingredients or no bake. You could do all of that. But right now, just, um, for the fun of it, I'm going to look up that one, that unstuffed cabbage rolls that uh, Diane suggested. I'm just going to search it over here. Unstuffed cabbage rolls. This is a really popular um, recipe. So we've got two. So we probably had, this one was the original one. And then this one came along after the Instapot became so popular. They're both a negative three on the weight loss meter, but do you see how this one has 1,020 likes? That's because it's been around a lot longer, but this one came around after Instapot time. Well, let's go ahead and click on that. Betsy says the cheeseburger cauliflower is shockingly good. We'll have to look that one up if it's shockingly good. Yes. So right here, you've got, uh, it's coming in the main dish category. Um, it's unstuffed cabbage rolls. It's a negative three on the weight loss meter. Okay, I've already got it hearted. Now I've hearted it, but I haven't actually ever made it. So that's why I haven't rated it yet. If you make something, come back in here and rate it for us, okay? And then if I wanted to add all of the foods from this to a grocery list, 
I just click that button and add it to the grocery list. Deb says this is her favorite. That's awesome. If you wanted to print this recipe, you simply click print. And then there it is. You can print it. You can three hole punch it, put it into a binder in your kitchen. Gives you um, prep time, cook time, that sort of thing. All the ingredients. Now, I absolutely love the way these recipes are laid out because we've got the rest, the, the items that you need. But, you know, I'm not much of a chef. I'm not much of a cook. Sometimes I look at things and I go, I don't even know what that is. And so in this one, I, I recognize everything. But let's say that I didn't recognize something. I could come over here and click on this. I could click on this link and it would take me to that. Let's say I don't know what zero drag is, which is the MCT oil. I could go, oh, okay, that's what it kind of looks like. It's in the cooking oils and healthy fat category up to one tablespoon per meal. Okay, this is a negative three. Um, then you could come down and read the description. Look at all these videos that include MCT oil. That's awesome. Then I got all my linked recipes. So it actually just took me on a little, a little, uh, rabbit hole right there but it's still I'm gonna go back to my recipe but it, I love that there's layer after layer okay let's look at this one and a half to two pounds of 96 percent lean ground beef or turkey I'm so thankful that it doesn't stop just right there because there's a lot of information coming to you at one time and maybe you're like I can't remember what category that's in we tell you it's right there this is a 96% lean or better ground meat. It's in a category one, which is a lean protein with the abbreviation of LP. We leave nothing to chance. There's layer after layer after layer of information here for you not to feel like, I don't even know what these things are, okay? And then you come down, you could read the directions. This is pretty simple to make. And there's your serving notes. And it tells you what categories it is so that when you journal it, all you got to do is write that down. All right. And then if there are any comments, look, this one's got lots of comments. You could come down and read some of those comments and see if they could help you in your cooking of this item. And Betsy says that her daughter asked for unstuffed cabbage rolls for her wedding reception last year. That's awesome. That tells you it's good. Tells you it's real good. I mean, actually, I think a thousand over a thousand is the most I've ever seen on a liked recipe. So that's wonderful. Okay, we added that one to the grocery list. Okay, I'm gonna go back to these filters really quickly because I want to show you something really cool about this. Now I'm in this filters. When I click this filters button, this basically lists out every recipe in the recipe library. But you know what? I just want the recipes that are gonna be the best for weight loss. So I'm gonna take this little filter and I'm gonna take this down and I'm just gonna look at negative two, negative three meals. And that narrows my list. Now remember, don't be a happy clicker because I know I clicked it. I'm waiting for that data to come up just like it did. Okay, so I only have negative two and negative three meals, I mean recipes in this listing, but see how they're kind of out of order, negative two, negative three, negative two, and so forth. If I click right here in that box, that WLM box, it's going to regenerate that list for me, and it's going to be the best for weight loss on down, okay? So I really like that. We've got unstuffed cabbage rolls right there at, at the top. And so you can see how many likes and how, what the average rating is, but then you could kind of come on down here and let's just say that we want to, uh, let's say that we want to see what booty burning burgers are. So let's click on booty burning burgers. So let's see, it's a half a cup of fat-free chicken broth, a half a teaspoon of pepper, a, two teaspoons of xanthan gum, that would probably eliminate me making it right there because when I have to buy random things that I don't use very often, I, um, and it just sits in my pantry after <laughs> that would stop me. But anyway, or maybe you could leave it out. I don't know. Two tablespoons, 96% lean ground beef, one tablespoon of Montreal steak seasoning. Now that stuff's good. Y'all that stuff's really good. Uh, a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons MCT oil, one onion, one bell pepper, and eight ounces of mushroom. Actually sounds really, really good. And, and I might buy that just to try it. Um, yeah, Callie, if I see something on there, I'm like, mm, no, that once I buy that, that's going to sit in my pantry and never be used again. 
I probably would make something else. Um, but it might be really, really good. And that's why it's in there. So let's say that you decide you do want to make this. I would go ahead and heart it, even if you don't think it's a favorite yet, because you want to be able to find it easier next time. But let's say I want to add that to my grocery list and do that. Okay, now I'm going to go back. Now, I've got my weight loss meter set at negative two, negative three. I know, Callie, it did sound good. I got my weight loss meter set at negative two, negative three. But let's say that I want to see crock pot meals that are in negative two, negative three. I'm letting it generate. I'm not just clicking because it's not appearing immediately. I'm going to go ahead and click my weight loss meter right there. I always like to see things in order. All right. So now let's just see how many. Okay, 31 entries. And at this point, I just, for the fun of it, am going to scan the likes. Okay, we've got crock pot buffalo chicken. It's got 435 likes. It's a negative two on the weight loss meter. That looks yummy. Let's see what, and it's a negative two. Okay, let's see. Uh, two pounds raw boneless skinless chicken breast, 12 ounce bottle of Frank's wing sauce. That's hot stuff, hot stuff. Um, one ounce packet of Hidden Valley Ranch salad dressing, two tablespoons of ghee butter, and two cloves of garlic minced. So if that's something that you think that you would like to try, oh, somebody wrote right here, my Lord, this was spicy. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I knew it was going to be spicy. But if it's something that you might like to try, you can hit, um, add it to your grocery list, okay? I'm actually going to unheart that one myself because that Frank swing sauce, I could probably use a different, let me put that, click that back. I could probably use a different wing sauce. Um, that Frank stuff's hot. I mean, hot. And I'm not a fan of hot. So even light hot is too hot for me. All right, but let's look at this barbecue roast. That sounds good. Let's see what barbecue roast is. Okay. So it's 96% lean pork. That'd be like a pork tenderloin. Paprika, salt and pepper, one cup of barbecue sauce, of approved barbecue sauce, and a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. You know, that actually right there would be great to just try. And it's your category plus, a, it's category one plus a condiment. So you could also add a category two to that. And look, there's even a video that goes along with this, um, which is very nice. And look, this person said, how long do you cook this for in the crock pot on high or low? So, you know, there's some answers that you're getting there. And if you want to add that to your grocery list, you just add that to your grocery list. Okay, let's go back and see what cheeseburger cauliflower is that Betsy said. Let's see. Tammy says, oh, Tammy says she loves Franks. She must like hot stuff. Okay, so there's this cheeseburger cauliflower. Let's click there. It's a negative two on the weight loss meter. It's got 185 likes. I like the way the picture looks. Looks yummy to me. Um, so you take um, one and a half pounds of 93% or leaner ground beef. So that would mean that that's a category four if you used down to 93%. One cup of fat-free shredded cheese, one pound of cauliflower, half a teaspoon of garlic salt, salt and pepper to taste. That actually sounds really, really good. And she said it was shockingly good. So I might have to try that. So that's a four, which is your meat. Your one is your fat-free cheese and your two is your cauliflower. So that is, that is a proper combination right there. It says, if you use category one ground meat, this would be a category one plus two recipe. And you can have one to one and a half cups as a meal. So I'm going to heart that because I think I might like to try that. I'm going to go ahead and add it to a grocery list and then I'm going to click there. Okay, so who else wants me to look something up? Tell me, so, like you could either tell me something specific to look up or you can give me a food item that you want to see what recipes go along with a food item. I could do that. Enchiladas. Okay. Sounds good. Now, just for the fun of it, I came back here. Do y'all see how the pictures have changed now? So the pictures have all changed. Ooh, butternut squash fries. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Ooh, whatever that is. 
chocolate chip, cream cheese, muffin. Oh, I think I might right click and open a new tab. But Betsy, Betsy, I'm going to have 500 tabs open at the top. I'm, I already have a ton, but I, now Betsy has made a, she's, she's given me a new thing to have all open. Um, okay, enchiladas. Okay, we'll type in that. Now, what's going to come up here is everything that has the word enchilada in the name of the recipe. And that's good because we're looking for some type of enchilada. Okay, so by the way, I had these pumpkin spice cheesecake enchiladas with caramel drizzle last Friday night. Absolutely delicious. Pinky, one of our members, um, made them they're so good so good but anyway off of that so enchiladas so we've got all kinds of enchiladas listed here i'm just going to click on enchiladas all right so it says six 50 calorie category two tortillas 12 ounces of 96 percent lean ground beef turkey or chicken two-thirds cup enchilada sauce half a cup of shredded veggie cheese or fat-free shredded mozzarella, one teaspoon of chopped garlic and one tablespoon of taco sauce, and then a half a teaspoon of taco seasoning mix. Basically, you mix it all together and wrap it up in the, in the, in the tortillas. That would be a one plus two plus condiment, okay? Now, let's say we wanna add that to our grocery list. We just simply click there and add it to the grocery list. Now I'm going to go back to the other enchiladas page and I, I have made these. I've made the fat burning chicken enchiladas before and they are really good too. Um, it's uh, 50 calorie tortillas and this is made with chicken breast. This was chicken enchiladas, which I really liked. I don't like green chili, so I didn't put those in there. And honestly, I didn't really need the fat free chicken broth in my opinion. So and then three cups of fat-free shredded cheese and then a 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce. It's pretty simple. This was pretty simple. Um, and so most of the time you don't want to leave things out, especially if you're leaving out a thing that's a category. But this right here was really just a condiment or a freebie. It wasn't going to hurt it if I left it out. In this particular case, these green chilies were condiments that wasn't gonna help hurt it either, okay. But if you're leaving out something major, you might wanna have a look and make sure it would still work. But this one is good, I know, I know it's good. All right, y'all give me another one. Give me another type of food, type of food that you want to see. One of your favorite recipes, you're like, I hope they have this on Shibboleth. Well, first of all, First of all, you can have anything on Planet Shibboleth, anything. It just depends on what day that you're eating it on. So if it's not an approved item or if it's not an approved recipe and that type of thing, you just have it on a holiday. So no one has taken anything away from you. It's really just a management system and you can eat certain things like on holidays that you wouldn't have on a perfect day. What you wanna think about perfect days, these are my getting results days. My holidays are, I'm wanting to eat that. And I can, so I am. <laughs> but you got to have days where you're going to get results too. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay, so Annette says to try those chocolate chip cream cheese muffins. Okay, right here. Chocolate chip cream cheese muffins. And then we've got chicken salad and fried shrimp. Okay, we'll look those up. Um, this is four ounces of room temp fat-free cheese, two tablespoons of zero-calorie sweetener, one teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of egg whites and a half a tablespoon of sugar-free chocolate chips. So this actually sounds very small, doesn't it? Oh, look at this. Look at this. A recipe makes one serving. I love this. Okay. I'm already going to have to heart that because I like that it makes um, one serving. Because a lot of times when you see a recipe that can be used as I don't know, a recipe. And it says it makes like 12 servings. And you're like, I'm never going to eat 12 servings before it goes bad. Unless you got family. Now, of course, you know, they can eat it up. But 
my daughter went away, got married. I've got a son who's in college, but he lives at home, but we're just not cooking big meals. And so I'm looking for things like this. And I love that this is a one person recipe. Okay. So mix it all together, pour into three muffin cups, top with sugar-free chocolate chips, optional. Oh, not optional for me. I'll have them on there um, and bake for 20 minutes. That sounds delicious, delicious. Okay, so I'm going to add that to my grocery list for Ingalls. And if I wanted to print that out, don't forget you can print those right there. Okay. So those sound great, Annette. I like that. Okay, now let's look up, let's look up chicken salad. All right, so we've got, let me, I'm just gonna scroll down here. We got 21 entries, 21 entries of chicken salad. Now, just because I like to get things that in order and I wanna see what's the best, I'm clicking inside this box for the weight loss meter. Okay, it reorganized it. Okay, so I've got crispy chicken with Greek green bean salad, MCT oil chicken salad, tasty chicken salad, avocado chicken salad, cream cheese ranch chicken salad, buffalo ranch chicken salad, Cleo's homemade chicken salad. That's the one I'm clicking on. If Cleo makes it, it's pretty simple, but delicious. So let's have a look at this. Two cups of diced and cooked chicken breast, three tablespoons of low fat Hellman's mayo, two to three tablespoons of no sugar added sweet relish, sweet pickle relish, a third of a small onion, one to two tablespoons of mustard and salt to taste. Process all ingredients in food processor, enjoy. These are my type of directions. I don't know about y'all, but these are my type of directions. I am your simple, simple, simple person. You can get very elaborate with cooking in Shibboleth or you can be so simple like me. Either way, Shibboleth is really just living life, but in a way where you understand how, foods, how food works and understand how to manage your food decisions so that you can get results. And then once you get the results that you want, keep them. Now I'm going to add this to my grocery list because I do want to make this. I'm going to click that. Okay. So we've got that picked, but did you see how many there were? There were a lot to choose from. Let's get our list back up. Okay. And you see it. Oh, oh, I think I might have to wait a second. Wait a second. I like chicken salad that has a, a fruit in it. Let's click right here. Apple chicken salad. Okay, so one tablespoon fat-free mayo, half a cup chopped celery, half a cup shredded lettuce. That's interesting. Um, maybe they're just sitting it on there, I don't know. Quarter cup of chopped apple with peeling, three to four cups boneless chicken breast. Um, serve over shredded lettuce, yeah, okay. Well, that sounds good to me, I like that. Now that's a proper combination too. A one plus two plus five plus condiment. Now, remember that five in your head, you should be saying ding, ding, ding right now because threes and fives must be combined properly. And if you see a five, you want to go, okay, is it combined properly? Because let's say, let's say one of, that one of these recipes is a recipe just about fruit. That's okay. You can make that but you can't just eat it by itself. You gotta have it with a lean protein and a fibrous carb, unless you were in maintenance and you could have it as a snack, okay? If it said that the recipe was a snack. But I like that one too. I think that one sounds good too, because I like the fruit in it, but I bet I could just add the fruit to the other one too. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so let's look up now. Now Betsy says fried shrimp. Well, we're going to not fry it in a regular way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just look up shrimp. I'm going to look up shrimp. And so I'm going to, because I don't know which one to pick because I don't really eat shrimp and I'm trying to find one, one that might look like uh shrimp fried shrimp there we go fried shrimp so let's click it 
And basically, I figured that we would be frying this with Carb Quick. See, this is beautiful. Carb Quick Complete Baking um, complete biscuit and baking mix. This is a category two fibrous carb that's like a flour or a um, uh, what am I thinking? Baking mix. Yeah. So we're just using this as our uh, coating, but they're also doing almond flour. Now that will give you a couple of, uh, you know, like different textures and flavors because these are have different textures and flavors. And then look, there's some spice called slap ya mama or whatever you prefer. Um, so that's fun. So there's some fried shrimp right there. Yes, Nicole, this is like Bisquick. This is like Bisquick. It is not spelled with a CK at the end. And we have over six pages of recipes that include, include Carb Quick. So what I would highly suggest is that you go to the Shibola store and type in recipe starter kit because that is some staples that you would just need to have in your pantry you would be getting bisquick i mean not bisquick no you wouldn't you'd be getting carb quick ghee butter and the zero drag mct oil those are the three things that would come in the recipe starter kit there is no reason not to go ahead and get those things and have them sitting in your home so that when you are looking at a recipe you're like man i could make that if i just had Look, and this calls for it. Look at this. Look at this. This is perfect. MCT and, and ghee butter. See, so let's say that you're looking through there, like Betsy, wanted to make fried shrimp, and then you said, dang, I don't have any carb quick MCT oil or ghee butter. Might as well go ahead and get it in there too. And Betsy says that crock pot ghee butter is easy too. Awesome. That's wonderful. Okay, so we're going to look up one more. We're going to look up the chicken and dumplings that Deb mentioned and... I'm just going to write in, I, I know this dump, <laughs> it's short, but it'll bring it up. There we go. There's two, there's three, there's four. Okay, so this one looks like it's the most popular, so let's click it. All right, there's chicken and dumplings. You've got a pound of cooked shredded chicken breast, two tablespoons ghee butter or MCT oil, one cup of carb quick, two cups of chicken broth, one can of fat-free or reduced fat cream of chicken soup. So you would get those. That is not a lot of ingredients, which is awesome. And you just make your chicken and dumplings. It is a one plus two plus condiment. You can have up to one cup with a category two vegetable or side or have one and a half cups alone. Who doesn't love that things like flour coming from the right product for our purposes Carb Quick gets to be eaten with a meal. You don't even have to add a category two veggie to it if you don't want to. You can if you want to. Okay, so let's add this to the grocery list. And I think we're gonna have a lot in our grocery list tonight. Okay, so we're gonna head back over to Fast Track. And now that you, when you know, you play around in the recipe library yourself, exploring and looking, because see, the more you play in the recipe library, the faster and quicker you get and more proficient you get at navigating through it. Okay, so I'm hoping what I showed you helped, but then you go and you play in there. Once you've played in there, you can check that box. And once you know how to add recipes to a grocery list, which is not hard, you just check that box. Now, the last thing that we're going to do tonight is we're going to check out our created grocery list. Each grocery list can be customized before going shopping. When a full recipe is added to the grocery list, it adds every item needed. You may already have some staples at home. When you look at your grocery list, you can edit the items you do not need to purchase at the store. You can also add items that you do need to purchase. Notice how each item in the grocery list is listed by category. Okay, this is awesome. Isn't that amazing? So we're going to click here. It takes us to my grocery lists, the list of them, and we can click here. And you've got all your category ones in a list, all your category twos, threes, fours. We even have it sectioned off by condiments, lots of condiments on this one. There's your freebies, spices and seasonings, and your cooking oils and healthy fats. I love that it just organizes it like this. Well, let's say that I am looking at all this category one and you kind of go, yep, I need all that. 
Category two, you go, okay, I need all of that. Category three, I need that. Let's look at condiments. Let's see. Let's say that you already have yellow mustard at home. So if you just click that little minus button, you can click this word remove and it will remove it from the list. So when I come back, that yellow mustard is gonna be gone. Right, let's go down here and look at freebies. We've got Bragg's apple cider vinegar, garlic, Splenda, water, vanilla extract, and Montreal steak seasoning. Okay, let's say I already have some vanilla extract at home. Let me just remove that. I don't know if you're like me or not, but I like to have as few items on the list when I go into the grocery store as possible, um, just to make things easier to find. Come down here. Let's say I already have salt at home. Remove that. I could possibly remove. And look, see, see how when the recipes were done, um, whoever, who, because these are member entered, a lot of times these are member entered, and we'll check them out, but we're not going to go in there and just fix every little thing. So do you see how I just got rid of salt, and now there's garlic salt, which is different, and then there's black pepper, and then there's salt and pepper. I could probably just remove that black pepper, and then I'll have salt and pepper on my list. But if I already have salt and pepper at home, I can just remove that too. Okay, so, and I probably already have paprika at home. Remove that. And then I, I have garlic salt at home too, but I'm gonna leave something on there. Okay, so there would be your list. And if you wanna print your list out, you can just click this button and you can hit print. And then you can take your little pen in your grocery store and check off the things as you get them. You can do that. Now, if you want to add grocery items, if you click on that green button, it simply takes you to the food library. You search for the food that you are wanting to add to your grocery list. I simply clicked on almonds just then. It'll go to almonds. And then I'm just going to click almonds. I'm going to add it to my grocery list. <clears throat> and then I'm going back to the fast track because I know how to get back to my grocery list real quick that way. And let's see, almonds should be in category six superfood. Yep, there they are now. They're sitting right there. So that you can easily add things to your grocery list as well. But let me show you something I think is really cool. So on my phone, I have a, I have a, uh, a square here, a folder. That's my Shibboleth folder. So if I click on my Shibboleth folder, I have shortcuts to everywhere that I visit on a regular basis, I have them saved to my home screen because I know most people take the path of least resistance and things that they do. And if something takes five, six, seven clicks to get to it, you're not gonna do it very often. So once you've done those five, six, seven clicks, those are, it's not that long in Shibboleth, but once you get to where you're going, save it as a favorite to your home screen pull them all together in a little folder. And right now, watch this. I want to go to my recipe, lab, my recipe, my grocery list. Boom. I'm in my grocery lists right now. And if I want to click on that Ingalls list, I can click on my Ingalls list. Then once I have put egg whites in my, in my buggy, I just removed it from my list. Once I put fat-free shredded cheese in my buggy, I just removed it from my list. My list gets smaller and smaller while I'm in the grocery store. And let me tell you, I like that. So that is a really fun way to use that on your phone. And that's not on the app, y'all. That is on the mobile friendly website. But I made myself, I made it even easier on myself by saving it as a shortcut to my home screen. So I hope that y'all have liked tonight's uh, lesson on the recipe library and on the grocery list and it's fun it's so much fun to utilize this tool this is just like a wonderful life tool to me the, the website is it's my hub this is my daily hub I come here in the morning I journal what I'm doing I look at my timing chart I double check and make sure I'm not going over my allowed number of holidays and all that stuff so it's wonderful you're welcome Maria I'm glad that you were here tonight that's awesome if you are listening in 
and you have enjoyed what you have heard and seen, please know that there's way more than what I showed tonight available to you in a Shibboleth membership. And you can get a membership at ShibbolethDeals.com. It's currently $69. That is not our normal price. That's a special. And for those of you, thank you, Nicole. And for those of you who are Shibboleth members, I'm so glad you were here, Callie. That's awesome. I'm glad you learned new things tonight. Oh, I'm glad you were here. That's awesome. Um, if you are a Shibboleth member, why not bring a friend or family member along with you on this journey? And one of the things that we've got is this right here. You can do one or two things. Just tell them to get their own membership. It's $69 or you could buy one for them. And they get this beautiful card and they get a uh, combination chart on the back and we mail it to them in this beautiful envelope. It says, please accept this gift of a happier, healthier you. How much fun is this to do it with other people? Lots of fun. Nicole and I get to see each other. She comes to class. Um, and then I get to see Deb and Diane and other people on our webinars. I mean, our Saturday accountability meetings. Hey, Christy. Hey, Christy, I'm glad to have you on here. Um, so it's a lot of fun to do this with other people. So bring somebody along with you, especially while it's a lifetime membership at $69. Okay, well, I'm going to hop off tomorrow morning. I, could, I should be able to see you, but you should come on to the Shibby Show is what I mean in the morning. You're welcome, Beverly. And um, tomorrow night, I will be doing lap five, which is void replacements. Um, Freebies, extras, snacks, and meal replacements. That's what we're going over tomorrow night. So please join me tomorrow night at 7.30 again. Um, and Tammy, hey, Tammy, you're welcome. Rhonda, for you to buy that for someone else, you can do one of two things. You can, if you're near Kennesaw, you can just come into the store and buy one or call the store and buy it over the phone. Or it's actually on the website. If you want to hang with me, Rhonda, I'll show you. So if I go up here to the store, this is how you would buy one for somebody else. I'm going to type in membership there. And there should be one that says golden. Okay, I don't see it. So hang on. It's brand new in the system. So let me just see golden. Lifetime golden ticket. So lifetime golden ticket. If you clicked right there, you would purchase this and this would be mailed to whoever you want to mail it to. So you would need to tell us um, when you order this, you should tell us by, let me see, I've not done this. Hang on, let's add this to my cart and see what happens. Okay, so this is what I am figuring out right now. I am figuring out, you're welcome, Tammy. I think I said that earlier anyway. Um, if you want it mailed directly to you, you can just go onto the website and order it. But if you want us to mail it, or, or you can order it there and then let them know. But the simplest way to order something from a live person, who can write down the address of the person that you want us to mail it to is to call the Kennesaw shop. Somebody will answer the phone. They'll take your payment over the phone. We will address this envelope and mail it out for you. So that's going to be the quickest way if you want it mailed directly to them. If you want it mailed directly to you and then you give it to them, you could just do it right here through this website. Okay. And let me see, let me see if it does anything. Yeah, so I think that if you want us to mail it for you, call the shop. That's the best way, Rhonda. Okay, I will see y'all in the morning. And in the meantime, this is my prayer for you. Keep them safe day and night. Give them courage, strength, and might. Bye, everybody.